Hey sisters, it's Amy Kay. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about my son, Jack, what he's doing. Um, he just graduated, where he's working, his college plans. At the end of the video, I will show you he in um, his recital piece and then a duet with his sister. So you'll see those at the end. Uh, but first, I want to remind you, I want to show you, the new Fall Feast stickers. I fit nine stickers onto one sheet. These are the sticker club, but they're also available because they're special as a one-time purchase. So go to store.torysisters.com and get the Fall Feast stickers. All right, so my son, Jackson, we often call him Jack, is 18 now. He just graduated homeschool, high school. So it's been a busy season of like launching him into adulthood. And he's my oldest, so this has been a whole new thing for me. It, busy, but exciting and wonderful to see him do man stuff. Um, uh, and I'm gonna share about him because I've been talking about my kids off and on for years. You know, I started this uh, Taurus Sisters thing like nine or 10 years ago. So a lot of you have been with me from the beginning and you've sort of heard stories about my kids and sort of watched them grow up. Well. Jack is just about grown up now. So he just turned 18. He is, um, I homeschooled him all the way through and at the end we'll talk a bit about homeschooling and I'll give you some encouragement. He is going to college, he's just about starting. He's, he's gonna do not traditional college, he's going to Kingdom College of Natural Health. I'll put a link below. If you go there and sign up for classes, tell them that Jackson Gunther sent you. Um, and he's going to study to be an ND. That is a, a naturopath doctor, a doctor of naturopathy. So that is his end goal with college and he can do it at home. Um, they are believers. It is, you know, holistic medicine and he is very excited about his future and he's going to work very hard in that. Um, for work, he is working for me. He is the first Taurus Sisters part-time employee. I have a couple contract employees here or there, but he is a part-time employee and he is doing, here's the things that Jack is doing because you might hear from him an email from time to time. First of all, he's doing all of my shipping. So every day, usually I sit down and do this, but now he's doing it for me. Every day, Monday through Friday, he sits down and ships all your packages out to you. So he's packaging lots of stickers today. Um, and that is wonderful. All of this is wonderful for me because then it allows me to do more videos, first of all. Um, so he's doing all of the shipping. Pretty soon he might start doing some customer service. So if you have a question about your order um, or a product, he might be the one to respond to you. Um, so And he'll tell you that. He'll say, this is Jack, da 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 da. And he is also doing uh, updating my Etsy shop, adding, I don't, I have an Etsy shop, but I don't have all my products in it because it takes a long time. So he's doing that for me. He's adding magazines and stickers and products over to my Etsy shop. Um, he's also, and some of you may have noticed that a lot of the pictures in the store are better than the ones I used to do. That's because he's taking pictures. He's also taking videos of my different products so you can sort of see what they are before you buy, which is really important. And he, I do not enjoy that stuff. He loves it and he's very good at it. He's also doing um, other kinds of miscellaneous tasks, <laughs> all Taurus Sisters related, which helps me a lot. Things like inventory, stocking things in the garage, keeping our warehouse um, organized, which is a bunch of shelves in my garage, um, stuff like that. So he's a very hard worker, very fast learner. I'm so happy to have him on board. And you might hear from him from time to time. I'm also just very proud of him. And so thank you for letting me brag on my kid for a minute. Homeschool kids don't get a lot of opportunity for public recognition. Not that they need it. And Jack doesn't even really know that I'm saying all this about, about him right now. But um, I'll show it to him before I launch this. I promise though. But it's just nice sometimes to say, my child has done well. I'm proud of him. And most of all, sisters, he has he's turning into a man of God. He's turning into a man who represents Yeshua everywhere he goes. Um, even at his basketball team, he got award, an award two different years. They call it the Flame Award. And it's not for like the, the best dribbler or the most improved or the most valuable player. It is an award that they give to the young man on the team who best represents their school and Yeshua, Jesus, 
to the world. Um, he doesn't attend that school, but they let homeschoolers play. And I'm so just thrilled and thankful to the father for working in him and making him a man of God that his bat, even his basketball coaches recognize that he represents well. He is a trustworthy man who is an ambassador for the kingdom. And so I'm just very proud of him. Thank you for letting me brag on him for a minute. Stay tuned to the end and you'll see some piano playing from him. He works very hard at piano. Some people say, wow, he has such talent on the piano. And my daughter too, you'll hear Bethany in the duet with him. But, and they will tell you as well. They're like, well, I don't know that we're talented. We just practice a lot. <laughs> and they do. They practice diligently every day. They, they also, it helps that they enjoy it. They like finding their own music. They're teaching themselves some other instruments now. Um, and Jack has a beautiful singing voice as well. It's been wonderful to watch them grow in that way. So yeah, an important lesson is that a lot of us don't have natural talent. We just practice hard. <laughs> so let's talk about homeschooling for a moment because part of him graduating is just me saying, oh, one down, right mamas? And really no matter how they graduate, don't you feel like that? Like you got one done. Um, but for me as a homeschooling mom, you know, that's the effort is like, oh, up here. And like we made it. And I have two more to finish. They're both in high school. Beth and Chris are in high school. So I have two more to finish homeschooling. But like it worked. We did it. Uh, and I want to encourage you that you can do it too. And when I first started homeschooling, it seemed like a daunting daunting, impossible task. And I would say I want to homeschool all the way through 12th grade, but one year at a time. And my desire though was always to go all the way, just like I did with Jack. And the father allowed that to happen. Now, if you're on the fence about homeschooling as this new school year approaches, I want to encourage you that first of all, yes, it is hard. Um, just know that right out of the gate. But things that are worth doing um, things in our life that reap big rewards require hard work. The, the big things are not easy. The things that matter most are not easy to do or everyone would do it. So just know that, it, yes, it is hard and just embrace the hard. Now, the benefits of homeschooling, I think a lot of you know that. And if you're thinking about it, it's because you know the benefits. You know, the, um, it's... It's easier to have a child, I think, not in every case, but most cases, turn out to be disciples of Yeshua and live holy lives if you control the influences around them. I'm not, I'm not saying have no influences, but control over those influences. And when you're homeschooling, you have control. They still need to learn about the world. They need to learn about sin. They need to be exposed to some things, but within your control, mom, you and dad. Uh, so it's much easier to do that when you homeschool. And that end goal of having my children turn out to be, to have the best chance of being disciples of Yeshua walking holy is so important to me that I'm willing to do the hard things. Um, and that one of the, one of those hard things included homeschooling. Now, yes, I know a lot of kids from public school have, have also turned out wonderful, but it's um, it's not all, and it's not most. It is it is some, though. So the Bible doesn't say that you have to homeschool. What I'm saying is, in the world the way it is now, it's your best way to disciple your children. Um, another sacrifice you're going to have to make just besides the hard work <laughs> is money. For most of us, when the mom stays home to homeschool, now I'm a single mom, so like double whammy, <laughs> but when the mom stays home to homeschool instead of working, you're going to have to just accept the fact that you're not going to have as much money as your friends where both parents are working. You're just not going to have as much money unless your husband has a terrific job. And it's much like with Sabbath, we say, you know, when you obey the command to keep the Sabbath, the father's going to bless you. See if the Father blesses you as you pursue homeschooling. Uh, I have seen it in my own life. Even as a single mom, we, we don't have a lot of money. There's a lot of things that we say no to, but I have never not paid my rent. And even if I could not pay my rent, the Father would have an alternative something or other for me. He has taken care of me every step of the way 
faithfully. And um, I encourage you to step out in faith and pursue homeschooling. The benefits far outweigh these uncomfortable hardships, especially of just the time putting in and the, you know, sacrificing money. The last thing I want to say about homeschooling, I've said this before, I will say it again. If homeschooling is daunting or it's hard because your child, no matter how old they are, <laughs> is difficult to manage, you probably need to homeschool that much more. If your child has behavior problems or obedience problems or rebellion problems or attention problems, whatever in that realm of character, that and that makes it hard to homeschool, that makes it even more important for you to homeschool because those types of problems are not gonna get corrected in the school system as much as they will be corrected by you keeping them home. And I've said this before too, if you have to not actually start the academics for a while while you work on behavior, while you chase their heart first and, and soften their heart towards things of God, things that, um, you know, do Bible studies and scripture and praying time together and even just some, some fun activities that are meaningful and special to soften their heart towards you, towards the Father, towards authority, towards submission to authority, soften their heart towards paying attention when it's um, commanded to do so. Even if you have to spend the whole first semester doing that instead of academics, the academics later will come so much easier. And even with homeschooling, you can school through the summer to make that up. You can sometimes um, do things faster when you homeschool because you don't have a whole classroom full of children. So there are ways to make up for that lost academic time but you're not gonna get a lot out of academics anyway if your child either can't obey you, can't sit down and do a paper, can't pay attention to you, um, refuses to put in the effort, and these things are true no matter how old they are. It's better to start when they're young, you know, even like one and two years old uh, or younger to make them um, have those character traits, but it's also never too late to work on that. There does come a time where it becomes, I don't want to say too late because we don't want to put God in a box that he can't soften hearts, but it becomes much harder the longer you wait. And I have talked to so many moms of so many ages and we all have regrets. I'm not saying I have been a perfect mom or a perfect homeschooling mom. I already look back on things I did with Jack, things I wish I had done, things I should have done differently. I have regrets, but not homeschooling isn't one of my regrets. I talked to so many moms who regret that they didn't homeschool for some of the reasons I just laid out. They regret it. They wish they had done it. And so when I hear those moms say that, it weighs very heavy on my heart. And on those days that are hard, those days that are discouraging, those days where I don't have a lot of money and I'm like, oh, I could just go work outside the house and it would be so much better. The words of those moms saying, I wish I had homeschooled, my child might have turned out different. That's one of the things that motivates me to keep going. So sisters, if you're on the fence at all, please hear my words, please seek out curriculum. You don't have to know everything to homeschool these days. You don't have to, um, math can be taught with teaching textbooks, fantastic program, you don't hardly, even have to help them with their math with that program. And if you do, you can hire a tutor. Um, you, there's the curricula, basically there's curricula out there that teaches itself. You just have to make sure that they're doing it. And that is okay. Don't let the people in your life tell you that your child is not gonna learn anything if you use curricula like that. That is not true. Um, a lot of face-to-face -face time with mom is better, especially when they're younger. But as you get into those harder years, um, my kids do a lot of independent study type of work because I'm a single mom, I have to work. So they do a lot of independent study work and I'm available for them now in their high school years. Um, when they're doing their school, I do the kind of work that I can be interrupted for. So when they need me, they know that they can interrupt me and I will answer their question right then. Um, I do my deep work earlier. So. There are ways to do this. Even if you have to work outside the home single moms, there are ways to do this. So go to your homeschool conventions nearby. Go to homeschoolingtorah.com. My friend Anne has tons of 
videos. I'll watch all of her um, conference videos, things like that. And all right, with that, I will stop talking. I'm going to let you enjoy Jack on the piano and Jack and Bess duet. All right, sisters, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.